Okay, everybody. This is how I'm going to do it. Um, I decided to um, show a little presentation or basically say how I've gotten from book one, Kushmata Origin, Kushmata Reborn, book two, sequel. Yes, there's a trilogy to it. I'm working on the third one now. My first children's book, The Missing Naughty List. And yeah, I'm showing a picture of the poster right now because mm, I haven't received my books yet. This is brand new. But, um, oh yeah, yeah. my daughter's painting. <laughs> yeah, I'm in, a, in, her, in her little art section area. Yeah, it's pretty junky, but anyway. Um, just want to say that uh, the journey that I've dealt with dealing with uh, this, these books, mm, it's not easy. For anybody um, it's not a money-making situation you basically have to be passionate about it uh, don't go into it thinking that you're gonna just make some money or make a lot of money dealing with it um, when I first started it actually you know started from book one I never thought I actually be writing a book at let alone four books into you know writing and it's such we spread out such genres because whatever comes to mind that's what I write I mean, I, I don't really stick to one but anyway um, I've dealt with hybrid publishing companies uh, for all of my books so uh, each has has its own challenges um, that first book all oh, very very challenging um, Kushma the origin I dealt with this book um, through a publishing company, which is, uh, which my first publishing company was with, oh my God, I can't think of it because it's been like a couple of years now. Um, I believe it was, I can't think of it right now, but anyway. Um, yeah, uh, hybrid meaning that when you write or you finish your writing process as an author, you find a company that basically does the rest for you, what you need as far as, you know, having everybody in place to do the, you know, the proofreading for you to the formatting, um, setting up your distribution, uh, your copywriting, etc., so on and so forth. Um, most of them have packages that they uh, submit uh, to where you know it quote unquote called affordable packaging, um, and it's it's affordable to though to them to easily say you know whatever. But if you're passionate about something, I guess you'll make it happen, which I did. I'm not a rich man, but I made it happen. Um, that first book, uh, the packaging, you know, I had, I'm not good at formatting. I'm not good at, you know, editing or any of that stuff like that. So I paid for all that to get done. But only uh, thing with them was um, I had to pay uh, upfront 500 copies of books and, you know, on top of and everything else and kept reordering. Once I, you know, once you run out of those 500 books you initially order, um, you have to reorder and pay again, you know, which I think the 500 co copies cost me like $1,500. But the whole, uh, you know, for the editing and everything like that was up with around $3,000 uh, to make it happen. Um, but I did because I wanted my story out there. Um, and the bad thing about dealing with that hybrid company as opposed to who I've dealt with with the last three of my books because I separated from that first publishing company is I veered towards print-on-demand hybrid. Print-on-demand um, is a little bit better for me because I don't have to pay up front you know, um, for all the books and I don't lose money if I don't sell the books. So, and it was cheaper, you know, um, 
and everything like that. So it was a better route. Fortunately, you know, of the 500 books from the first company that I, I bought all, you know, the books prior to, I sold them all. So, you know, thank goodness for that. I, know, I might have like 30 copies left out of the 500. Uh, and they format the ebook. Uh, what's bad about that company is, you know, once you run out and you don't reorder, they take everything down as far as the ebook. Um, and which I paid three hundred dollars for that formatting to get done and them to uh, set that up. And I only sold like one copy since it came, when it came out. So basically, that was a waste of money. And it was pretty, you know, crazy to me that um, something that you know you don't have to reorder and put on a computer, you know, to set up on a computer, is taken down. You know, I can understand the reordering of books because they have to print it and all this other good stuff like that. They need payment of that. But to me, once I pay for that ebook to get done, it shouldn't have been taken down. But they did. You know, lesson learned. Print on demand, I say, would be the best route to go if you're going to do any type of um, publishing situation. Um, the ebook goes up. You pay for it, you know, same thing like the editing. The only thing, you know, the uh, formatting, the only thing difference is. At this point, like I said, you save money because the people have to, you know, uh, order their book. And that's when, they, you know, you don't have to stock up a whole bunch of books and take up space and all this other good stuff. And sitting on two, three hundred books, especially at a time like this with uh, COVID, when you don't have any time to promote your books or anything like that. And, you know, you're sitting on, you know, all kind of money. Um, the, the ebook goes up, you know, and you know, the, and it, it, it never get taken down. Let me just say it like that, you know, it's not like a company feeling like, oh, you know what, you're not ordering from me anymore. So guess what? Um, I'm ripping everything down. It stays up forever. So no matter if you're selling one book a year, you know, it's still there. Five, six years from now, it's still up available, you know, for for purchase ebook stays up regardless or whatever so overall it was a cheaper route for me so i do suggest going print on demand um when you're dealing with anything do your research you know you're going to have your good reviews you want to have your bad reviews on um whatever company you decide to deal with um i've had bad review you know views when i've looked at you know not Per se my books but i've seen bad reviews with the publishing companies i've dealt with but you have to go with the the lesser of the two eagles so to speak because not everybody's going to have their experience being 100 percent great or what they expect so um i'm pretty pretty happy with my my current publishing company which is author house publishing i'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, you can go ahead and look them up. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. Um, the first company I'm not going to really name, uh, you know, because I don't want to bad mouth, you know what I'm saying, just because of my experience, you know, somebody else might go with them and deal with a, uh, a better, you know, just have a different experience with them. But my experience wasn't good. But um, Author House Publishing is who I deal with now and for my last three books who I've been dealing with. Uh, it's not an easy experience. It's gonna be a long journey, stressful. You, you're gonna get bad reviews. You're gonna get good reviews. You wanna get no reviews. Um, you're gonna have, you know, people probably buy 25 of your books, you know, and you might get one review out of all of them, you know, and it, it's, Basically, you got to do it for the love of you, for you know, for what you love to do, not nobody else, you know, because um, everybody has an opinion, and not all opinions of everyone is going to be good. So, uh, once again, uh, print on demand is the way to go, and hopefully, if I can, um, you know, get back to you guys again uh, with my next. You know interview i will do it again and if anybody have any questions you know go ahead and subscribe i try to do 
you know, a lot of um, stuff with each one of my experiences, you know, whether it be, you know, different products or, you know, what I'm doing with my books or anything like that, I don't mind. You can go ahead and subscribe, like, don't subscribe or like, you know, I'm doing it. And once again, like I said, I don't want to, you know, contradict myself. You know, I'm doing it because I want to and I feel good about doing it, you know, making these videos and stuff like that. So until next time, talk to you later.